of Pauline the Pelican. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Lucy. Do you like my new bracelet? Oh, that's very pretty. Whose name is that? It says E-M-M-A. Emma. <coughs> Was it a present from Emma? Uh, no. Not really. I borrowed it from her. You mean you asked Emma if you could wear her bracelet for a while? Um, not exactly. This reminds me of the story of Pauline the Pelican. Would you like to hear it? Well... Oh, yes. I think you should. All right. I do love your stories, Molly. Every day, just as the sun was climbing in the sky, Pauline the Pelican would go fishing for her breakfast on Water Lily Lake. One day, the fish were particularly clever and slippery. No matter how hard she tried, Pauline couldn't catch a thing. Look out below! Yummy, scrummy fishing view! Seamus the stork wasn't having any trouble finding fish. He'd caught lots of fish that day already. One for me, and one for me, and hey, another one for me. And one for Seamus, of course. Seamus had caught so many fish, he couldn't carry them all back to his nest. Oh, well! <laughs> I suppose I can leave this one behind and come back for it later. Ready for takeoff? Let's go! Seamus had left behind a very big and tasty fish, and Pauline was feeling hungry. Oh, that's my tummy rumbling. Seamus doesn't need this fish. I'll take it and catch another one for him later. I'm sure he won't mind. Anyway, I'll never know. What a cheek! Herbert the warthog was feeling happy. He just had a dust bath and found a huge watermelon. My watermelon! Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, what a nasty shock that was. Naughty watermelon, hiding from Herbert like that. Safe at last. 
time for a little trot before lunchtime, Herbert? Why not? And then we can gobble it down. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. Pauline thought the watermelon looked delicious. Watermelon. Where's it gone? As Pauline flew over the savannah, she spotted Reginald the lion dozing in the long grass. <sighs> Snooze. <clears throat> My lovely, tasty bone. Mm. Reginald is fast asleep. I'm sure he won't mind if I eat that bone now and bring him another one later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely bone. Just for Reggie. of the way back home. Hello? Anyone at home? Good evening, Pauline. <coughs> We're not disturbing your tea or anything. <coughs> Actually, we've come to warn you. Yes, it seems someone woofed my watermelon. I'd buried it in the safest place in the whole savannah. Now there's not a sign of it anywhere. It's just not fair. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Someone has been taking food without asking. I lost a bone. And I lost a fish. And I lost the juiciest watermelon in the whole world. So be on your guard, Pauline Pelican, and don't leave any food lying around. Or you may be next. Even hiding it in holes doesn't help. Well, we'll leave you to get on with whatever you were doing. Just thought we'd better warn you. Bye. <laughs> Pauline felt very guilty and wished she'd never taken the food. Even though she was so hungry that her tummy was rumbling, she decided to give the food back to her friends. This will be difficult. If Reginald catches me with his ball, then big trouble. Oh well, here goes. It was very dark when Pauline finally got home. She hadn't eaten anything all day. But she was happy that all the food was back where it belonged, and she fell into a deep sleep. Wakey, wakey, Pauline! Eh? What's happening? Is it someone's birthday? No. And it's not Christmas? No, it's not. So? We decided we'd got so much food that we'd share it. We're going to have a party. The cake is a present for you because you're our favourite pelican. Oh, I don't know what to say. How about, let's eat? Yeah, let's go down to the lake and eat our cake. Fishes and cream! Oh! Yay! 
Colleen was very happy. And Seamus and Reggie and Herbert were happy too. And they all had lots to eat. I think I'll give Emma her bracelet back tomorrow. Good idea. And I'm going to make her a cake, like they did for Pauline. With fishes and cream? Yuck! I don't think so. I want her to stay my friend. It's much too late for baking cakes now. Time for bed, I think. Thanks for the story. Good night. Good night, Lucy.